Hey friends, what a gorgeous morning it is here in Washington State. Um, I can hear the ravens. There is a plane. There's a lot of really small airports or airstrips around here through our woods. In the neighbor's dairy pasture, I can see the elk also dancing around. They spent so much time here the other day. Um, a couple days ago, it was after one of these real cold uh, nights. It's a super foggy morning and the elk were having a fun time here in our backyard garden and pasture. I'm going to show you a little bit of that right now. So I'm out here in the pasture today, well kind of the, actually not the pasture, I am in the, well we don't really have a name for this, the big garden I guess is what we call it, um, which is adjacent to our pasture and I am trying to work on our fencing project that we've been working on all throughout the winter. We've been, there's this big fence around uh, this big garden and pasture that's adjacent to our barn. And um, there's a fence that's gone around this. This used to be historically used as a horse arena riding, you know, turnout, etc. I don't know much about horses, uh, but that's what it was when the property was was first built and its first like half of its life. And then it wasn't really used very much for um, large livestock. So we are working on removing that fence and we are gonna get it replaced here as soon as the ground is ready where we want the fence line to be. So this area gets really wet and we can't really work a ton on it throughout the fall and the winter because it's so wet. So that's why I'm out here this morning. It was, it was 28 degrees last night, so I hope maybe it was gonna firm up the ground enough so I could get some work done. Uh, there is less water in our water table, so that's good. And I'm just gonna give it a go because I need to pull out those fence posts which is seriously like the funnest thing to do if it goes right. I've only pulled them out the easy way and then the ones that broke, well, I've let those be. But here's some footage of me and Bill working on this fence earlier in, I think it was in January, we had a really hard frost for several days. So we were able to get out here and drive on the grass with our truck and with our tractor and we we're able to get a lot of this fence removed. So I just need to finish removing all of the posts and then I'm going to come with our box scraper and scrape the entire fence line because that's where there's a lot of blackberry is growing around the or right in the fence line. We've eradicated it from the pasture and now garden, the horse pasture, um, but that fence line is still harboring lots of blackberry and we can't build a fence on that. 
So I need to get out here and get to work before it warms up too much and see what I can get done with removing those posts. I need to uh, fold back these silage tarps so that I can get the tractor in here and be able to work in that area. Um, but I'm not gonna remove them completely. I'm just gonna kind of fold them in half. So I've got to get to that and get hustling. I just finished pulling back the silage tarp and what you're looking at, so the silage tarp is right behind you and what you're looking at here is the area that was underneath the silage tarp and then our fence line that's going to be removed and replaced. So this soil here is more wet than I wish it was, but I really need to keep working on this project if we want to be able to get our garden planted and not worry about any livestock or creatures coming and eating it. I'm really looking forward to getting livestock back on the property, but we can't do that until this fence line is complete and I want it done as soon as possible. So I need to get this all cleaned out before our fence builder can come and install the new fence. Mount Rainier is looking beautiful today. It's so clear. We can see it so clearly out there. Okay, enough of this fun, beautiful stuff. I need to get on the tractor. I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'm gonna bring the tractor over and let's see, how many fence posts do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fence posts, let's do this. Well friends, that went from a goal of 10 posts to zero really quick. I was uh, completely wrong about how ready this soil was to be driving the tractor on. So I almost got stuck and uh, that was the end of that. It's really firm here, not so much there. Okay, not at all there, but that's the area where I'm gonna be driving through because I need to pull up to each post like this. I can't do it from that side, which is much more dry, um, but probably still not dry enough uh, because I need the little blocks on the posts. Actually, it doesn't even look like all of them have the blocks. So the these two, I wouldn't have been able to pull out um, unless I like nailed a block into them, which I could do, I suppose. Might be easier than any other methods of getting it out. So. Let's go take a look at that spot in the mud. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I could have seriously got stuck. Um, I had this bucket load of mulch in the bucket that I got from there and was going to move. Um, and I had to dump that because it was so heavy. And then I had my... Um, my brush cutter on thankfully which i could lower that down and that gave me a lot of of traction in the back and i was able to kind of push myself out but look at how deep this is i mean come on this is horrible lighting but it goes almost to my elbow so the tire was in there pretty good um such a high water table in this in our on our property and in some places not in all places but particularly by the house up above us in this pasture this is why we don't do much tractor work in the winter and uh the first the first year we got the tractor in probably about this time of year actually i got it stuck uh over by the barn in this same area uh this same fenced in area and we had to have my husband's friend come pull us out with his he's got an off-roading jeep um, with winch on it and everything that he pulled us out lickety split. I got to be real honest uh, I think I'm mostly mad about this not because I couldn't get the fence done yet But because now I have to put the tarp back and then I have to remove the tarp all over again in a couple of weeks when this dries out if this dries out because the forecast for the next week is more rain coming so who knows when we'll get to this project, but I'm gonna keep trying and we're gonna get it done as soon as possible without sacrificing the health of our pasture and our garden area. Since I can't show you my cool fence project or my update, cause there is no update, 
Um, I'm going to show you the Rockridge market, pop-up market that I s vended at or sold things at in February. It was so much fun. It was right before Valentine's Day and I sold a lot of baked goods and jams and eggs, microgreens and had a great time. It was actually my most successful market that I've ever um, sold at. So compared to the farmer's market last summer, people just love baked goods. They super love homemade baked goods and they really like to have something to enjoy eating while they're at markets. So um, that was a lot of fun. I was going to do some more this spring, but I decided even though that was the best market ever, um, it took a lot of prep work and there's so many projects that I want to do on the farm that um, working to, at, to prepare for those events, just I've got to devote that time to something else. After harvesting microgreens for the market, there's always leftover stems, leaves, and seeds that either go to the chickens for a special treat or into a worm bin. This tray is special because I grew it specifically for the chickens. Those other trays, are the microgreens had already been harvested for um, customers, and this I grew just for them. I was going to bring it as a display at the market yesterday, but I ran out of time to get things packed. So this one is going to be extra tasty because it has all of the sunflower leaves. Late winter is when I prune our blueberry bushes and our raspberry plants. We've really been struggling with our raspberry patch for the past few years. It always happened each year that when the raspberries were looking super young and fresh and tender and green and vibrant, the goats would escape and hustle on over here to the raspberry patch and munch down practically everything. So we're hoping for a much bigger crop this year while we don't have any goats. Another project we've been working on in this area is clearing this fence line and around this power box so that we can keep the fence line clear, but also we are planning on extending some power out into the pasture. Hey friends, if you've made it this far in the video, Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. It's taken me um, a couple of months to get this footage all put together and finally edited to share with you. I hope that you are having a great spring. It's now March 13th, so I got to get this video out because it is no longer going to be a winter project update if it's actually springtime. I look forward to recording what I'm up to this spring and hearing about what you're up to this spring and sharing that with you all. Have a great day.